So yeah, we've been spending the last probably what, like six months working on new boards for Jack. And so we had sent him, I don't even know how many boards we sent him. He's living in Hawaii and we sent him like a box a week basically. <laughs> like we were trying to try out everything. And Jack's come from a background of um, at least the last 10 or probably his whole life, like performance shortboards. So Trifins, so he's come from like a really foundational place of high performance shortboards with the um, interest in wanting to expand that and write something else. And so we're like, let's try all sorts of stuff. So we sent him ASIMs and we sent him Twinsmans and twin fins and variations on twin fins. He had ridden this board previously that had like a wing, like a little like bump wing squash tail that was kind of felt like a short board. And so we kind of iterated off of that idea. And so we took um, a bullet. I took a bullet, which was a board that Josh has ridden for a few years. That's like a little um, kind of shrunk down stubby hybrid, but that is foiled like a short board, short board rails shortboard foil but just relaxed rocker and we kind of stretched one for Hawaii and did it as a tri-fin so that Jack could ride it twin twin trailer or tri-fin and he could kind of get the feel for the board without necessarily the fins being um, the total differentiator and we've probably done a number of them now but I feel like we've got it pretty dialed like the first one we really sent him he was he I remember he texted me back and He's like, oh, there's something different about this one. And he had ridden it like two foot Rockies to, you know, eight foot back door. And it was a 511. And he's a, he's like 6'2", 195 or something like that. I think it was mostly, I think Jack felt the pressure of like wanting to, he's like a, he's a very talented, high performing surfer. And so there's a little bit, I think sometimes a little, not a nervousness, but a little bit of a performance anxiety, right? When you're, jumping on something that's perceived as like an alternative board or a fun board of like, am I still gonna be able to go out and shred and look good and get clips on it? And so I think this was like a real safety of like, oh, I feel comfortable on this and I can kind of branch out, but there's kind of a steady, um, it just feels comfortable and natural so that I can kind of bounce from a short board to it really easily but I can definitely, it feels like, ooh, this is a, a, a progression at the same time, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's definitely a different approach. Like a, a performance shortboard approach is like you've got to be moving rail to rail and you're wiggling more to get it going. And definitely when you're on a Twinsman or on a twin fin, those boards want to run free and, and you kind of have to let the board do a lot of the work. And so, yeah, bridging that, I think is, was pretty, pretty important, so. From like first glance at the free wing, if you kind of blur your eyes, it almost looks like a shortboard. You know, it's not that much wider. Um, it probably, it probably carries volume-wise like a liter and a half more than his shortboard would, but kind of in a little bit of a shorter package. So he rides it like 5'11", 19 and a half, touch wider, and then like two and a half. And, um, uh, but so main characteristics of it, it's kind of a performance outline with a little fuller nose and it has um, kind of a late wing into it like a, a squash tail. So it's kind of like a standard shortboard squash tail. And the, what the wing does is it lets a little bit more width run through kind of the drive zone. So in between the feet, the outline's a little straighter, which just carries, makes the board feel really fast. So if you see clips of it riding it, when he really locks in on his bottom turn and he's projecting down the line, you can see the thing just really accelerate and take off. And then when he goes up in the lip and to hit it, that's when that little uh, wing kind of frees it up and it gives him kind of a breaking point where the board will release, release at the lip, release when he wants to. And so you get like a really fun combination of a, of, of a short board that feels like it goes faster than a normal short board would go, but it's freed up also a little bit more too. So it's like this cool little balance of the two. Yeah, we've been playing with mostly the wing squash is kind of the standard and we've done a, a round tail as well. So a round tail that you can stretch out a little bit. So you can also kind of have it be, so let's say you wrote a 511 squash tail, you do like a 6.0 or 6.1 round tail. So you can have like a little two board quiver out of it. The idea with this one really was something that you can realistically ride as a tri-fin 
thruster setup, like your favorite thruster fin setup, or two plus one, you know, twin trailer, and you can go back and forth. And so, um, guys that are maybe afraid to jump fully on the go all twin fin because they feel like that's a little bit too much of a leap. This is a board that you can, you really can't do both. So if it's, let's say it's really good bowly day and you want just your your the you know consistent grip and feel of your thruster, you put your tri fin set in there and you're gonna be able to pivot and bank off the bottom like you normally would. And then if the waves are a little less or you want to free it up a little bit, you put the twins in with a little something, a little stabilizer in the in the trailer box, and you can feel the feeling of a little bit more freedom, a little bit more speed. Uh, a little looser.